Amen. It's the ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest known 2K in existence. And look, guys, they just dropped the full my career, full my player builder badges and new take 72 takeover shooting gonna be like 2K22. They bringing back the the overdose for the short builds. Oh. 72 takeovers, demi gods return. Leak, 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 leak. We got way less badges now. We gonna go over that. There's now transcended badges, past full of fame badges. Eight, okay. We can now see the animations we can unlock before and test before we make our build and spin our bread. Hey, a lot of good things, some negative things. We gonna go over all of it, break it down to a T. We not gonna be double twisting with our mouth wide open like most of these guys, okay? They really try to max out their ball handling badges real light, okay? 99 ball handling. That is not I, okay? So you gonna get that authentic. I'll let you know that real so before we get into anything y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new get this video to 1200 likes man Body will know like up the video so we're gonna go over the interview everything all that and look i want to show y'all this badge real quick elevates the likelihood of making shots over taller okay. defenders this is a very realistic thing people that know smaller players really be the ones that be shooting over those more than taller players but 22 it was od but who knows this could be an indication that 2k22 shooting is returning from everything all the feedback we getting looking pretty uh sounding like it's gonna be pretty cheesy and pretty arcade and like the uh newer 2ks that's been coming out man ain't gonna hold you now look at this here's one of the takeovers there's different levels of takeover this is the barbecue chicken post scoring takeover one of the things that dev was actually touching on so it's leaked that post scores is gonna be broken again leak, 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 leak. Q chicken, y'all know Shaq, man. On court performance increases your takeover meter. At level five, your takeover ability will turn on. It's better than last year if somehow that's not invaded. People being able to get all these takeovers based off their teammates is great. Especially like sharp take. You're like you're 0 and 4 and your teammates going crazy, you get sharp take and man. I was lame. Now, this is like a 99 overall build. Now, look, this is like say you're making your build, you get to see your moves. That's what it's really looking like, right? It's kind of crazy but if you look at this build if this is like a like a build build this hoe look kind of od look at the driving layup driving dunk 93 three point mid-range decent free throw decent you got the passing the ball handling the vertical the agility the speed this is look 85 steel this is looking pretty od like this this not a joke boy and then this is this is the uh the 2k like if this is like actually a build which it might be looking like this is what they found. Imagine what we can find. This looking like a woo. It's a demi. Like the the layup and the dunk. 93. You feel me? And then these. This is old boy. Then the defense is decent. Like look. And then look. Your go to shots right here. That's the new feature. And then you can have like a go to shot be somebody. Looking kind of cool, y'all. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Now look, there's only five shooting badges now. It took a lot of these badges out. I don't know how 2K Lab did this so fast. Bro, they have to know. They they, they gotta be associated with 2K somewhat. This is crazy. How? <laughs> like, or I, I don't know. Maybe y'all just quick. Like, god damn. But they took a lot of these badges. A lot of these badges probably get combined somewhat. And then it's just smaller badges. Y'all let me know if y'all gonna miss any of these badges. I wonder what it means to just have five shooting badges, like why they chose that. Because wouldn't less mean that, say you nerf a badge, that it affects way more things at once? Because you'll be combining those things unless they have hiddenly like a bunch of different ways to nerf Deadeye. Like they have different like different levels to nerf Deadeye. Like, of course, because Blinder's gonna be combined into it. Guard up's gonna be combined into it. And maybe those are still in there, but it's just not visible to us. Ankle Assassin. Y'all think they're gonna be letting us uh I like I like the names of these. Lightning launch, ankle assassin. Y'all think they're gonna let us get ankle breakers this year? And they added some more 2K25 ones. People doing tributes, these badges, RIP, man. Green machine, you done. I thought this Zach guy had like black hair. Like his profile picture, I thought he I thought he looked different. Important decision. And so we put a lot of time into ensuring that the various paths that we have in the builder are gonna allow all walks of our gamers to be able to make the player that they wanna make. The create your own. It's the builder where you just have. Now here's the builder, y'all. Now look, 2K not listening. They know most people don't like the body types in the Gatorade. I don't even think I unlocked many this year. We want to be able to pick our body types in the beginning. That's a L. But as y'all can see, it looks somewhat similar to 2K24. I have so many options changing. 
it's looking like builds um are more op in 25 than 20 fold so y'all let me know how y'all feel about that wrl your position changing your size you can articulate through every single one of your attributes and get to right where you, want. you know it look a little different layup mix master it's look kind of better want to go with your builder all while you can see the various perks that your players have been and then look you get to see your takeovers this is cool the perks this looks cool and then like you get to see your moves so hopefully like a lot of y'all especially the casuals man they would make their build and they wouldn't know the requirements to certain dunk packages or layups so now if i'm not tripping while you're at this screen you can really look and see what you're going to be unlocking which is a w we've been begging for this ever and you know the reason they did, don't imply that is because they want us to mess up on our builds but now it's looking like, you know, they're like, hey, man, we got to start making these people happy, which is a W. Actually going to be equipped with. Ultimately, it's the builder where somebody who wants to mess around with the thousands of possibilities can eventually make the build that they want to. We also have our pro build making veterans that have been the community builds feature that we had last year. It was really exciting. It was really nice to grab the best build makers that we had. Hey, man, if he got a, a community build, you know, most likely like 93 percent of the time they was on their knees. Mouth wide open. Have out there, be able to have them put. They was on Twitter defending the game. Pick me. I love everything you guys do. Please. Um, look at all the defending I'm doing on my knees. Please re reward me, 2K. A lot of new features coming with this new builder system, Zach. What else can you share about creating your MyPlayer in 2K25? In each of these builder paths, there's access to more information than we've ever given you before. You'll see which badges you qualify for. You'll uh -huh. see which takeovers you qualify for in our new takeover system. And you'll also be able to see which animation. This is huge, bro. This is a, such a W, bro. It's such a W. It's such a W. It's 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 such a W. And y'all be sure, man. That, that's why you got y'all gotta have my noties on. I'm be letting y'all know the best moves for y'all play styles. I know a lot of y'all don't know, man. So you know we gonna be helping y'all with the dribble moves, the jump shots. This this the greatest channel for that, man. Since your player will qualify for. Ultimately, it's gonna give you a really good feel for whether or not the player is gonna move and react the way that you Ooh. want to do the animation system. Hey, hold on. I love all that, but I especially love the new takeover. I especially love the way that you want to. Like this. For. Ultimately, it's we about give to you see some really gameplay right here. Y'all let me know how y'all see. It's looking like an L, okay? The gameplay looking Ellie, right? It's looking like you're going to see when he speed boosts. It's looking like, you know, you know, when you try to speed boost and you don't do it right and like hold R2 and get that angle, which they introduced in 24. It's just not like the normal speed boost and how it was. It's very trash and all that. But it's very trash and all that. It's such a L. And it actually hurts casual players. But look, pay attention. Move and react the way yes, that you so want to. You see that that little pause? Like, the little pause. They do that to try to nerf people and all this and that. Like, this is basic to get over. But that's an L right there. Now, them showing this screen right here, it's like, oh, you can go test. Most likely, based off like what they're showing after what they're talking about, you can go test and uh, test these animations at 99, I'm assuming. And right here, you can see the space and the space and look crazy. I don't know if it's just the camera or the angle. The space and look kind of, it look cool, you know? Or maybe it's the angle, but that space and that's a game changer. That's a huge W, guys. I've been talking about this for several years. Y'all be saying, oh, negative swan. Look, saying positive things, guys, you know? Nobody wants 2K to be bad, bro. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Though. Do the animation system. I love all that, but I especially love the new takeover hey, system. Y'all see how he ball fumbled. Takeovers back take in a new over. way this year. We have 70 takeovers and 14 special abilities. In the builder, you can see which takeovers you can. Now look, he says 70 takeovers. Takeovers back in a new way this year. We have 70 takeovers. 70 and takeovers is abilities. insane. And now look, they reduced the badges, but now we have way more takeovers. So it's like we're just making them take over. The builder, you can see which takeovers you qualify for. Once you get into my career, you can swap your. Now let's let's have a look see at these okay default i wonder what that is oh it doesn't have a ability q chicken board beast break igniter they got a takeover for breaks man so what what if this means like oh your breaks aren't going to be that good in the game you got to unlock the takeover maybe you could throw like crazy steamers that's wild man if people got a high attribute they better be able to uh, throw it right bucket mm, this probably got something to do with middies maybe some threes elevates probably some dunker eraser maybe lowering badges feathery touch is probably some layup fundamentals is probably some passing glass gunner maybe you could fly through people and get uh jumps horse i don't know lost art this is probably some spinning 
type of stuff. Y'all let me know if this is exciting to y'all. Takeovers in and out. They all have attribute requirements that determine whether or not you're able to equip these takeovers. Once you get into the game, you're going to see your takeover meter. There's five levels to your takeover, and it's kind of like five levels of hotness. Once you hit level five, the special ability turns on, and that allows you to kind of dominate the game for a short period of time. Ooh, more game okay, 70 takeovers. See that new meter? What are some of your favorites? I think the one that I've been gravitating towards the most is barbecue chicken. If you're a hoop head, you know what that name means. It means your favorites. I think the period of time. Okay, 70 takeovers if the special ability turns on and that allows you to kind of dominate the game for a short period of time. Okay, 70 takeovers. What are some of your favorites? I think the one that I've been gravitating towards the most is barbecue chicken. If you're a hoop head, you know what that name is. Yeah, he's always talking about post scores. I hate, I hate these sim nation NPCs, bro. God damn. Means it means you're about to put somebody in the post and turn them into a ragdoll. It boosts throughout the levels of takeover, boosts your every post control, your shot close, and your strength. And then when the special ability turns on, they be talking crazy. They got a lick of talent, my boy. Just ruining the game. It turns on deep post bag, which essentially allows you to completely dominate the post, again, for a short period of time, in shots, back downs, every post move you can think of. So it's a lot of fun for somebody who likes to play in the post. What can you tell us about badges in 2K25? <laughs> this year we have 40 badges. They're a lot more all-encompassing than they have been in the past. All-encompassing. So I that pretty sure that word means you're adding to everything together. The ankle, this badge look clean though. Hopefully they let us get ankle breakers. This is 98 ball handle. And you get to apply a perk. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Versatile. Visionary shooter. Hmm. Y'all think they gonna let us get ankle breakers? They done took stamina out the game. I'm gonna show y'all later. Or maybe I didn't show y'all. Bro, we gotta get it at like Gatorade, man. It's annoying as hell. Lightning launch. They look cool. They're cool looking little badges. Each one of them has a larger impact. And so we're really happy with the badge allotment. That you know what would be cool is if when you're using these, they go under your player and they look like this. Has a larger impact. This is 97 to get this. And so we're really happy with the badge. 73 steel for interceptor. Leak, 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 leak. Badge a lot. 94 speed with ball for lightning line. Hmm. That we have right now. We feel like we've hit every part of basketball that's important. And ultimately, we're accentuating everybody's play style for these badges. Okay. One other thing I want to talk about is badge progression. Badge progression is basically how often are you using your badge? It's gone, guys. Badge progression is gone. Huge W. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. They listened. It was an L. He says they're not going to regress. But, you know, if you're using your badge, it's going to go up. The more often you use the badge, the faster it's going to progress. Ultimately, though, if you don't use your badge this year, you won't regress, which I'm sure our fans That'll are pretty be. happy about. So it sounds like badges are completely reworked this year in 2K25. Yeah, so this year we introduced a new level of badge called Legend. It's a level above. Legend badge, y'all. Hall of Fame. It's pretty. Legend above Hall of Fame. Still to get, you have to raise your attributes pretty high. But ultimately, you know, it really allows you to dominate in that area of the game. My career in NBA 2K25 is all about building the greatest dynasty in NBA history. You're my player this year, growing up outside of Chicago. And like his idol, uh -huh. Michael Jordan, he wants to build a dynasty that lasts throughout the ages. You can uh -huh. learn about Hey, by the way, he going to tell us that now we can earn jerseys in my career. That's a huge W. You get to do jersey swaps or whatever. Huge W, guys. You know, more of a reason to play my career stuff. I hope y'all are excited. Y'all let me know if y'all like this My Career News. I don't really understand my career like that because I don't really play it. Y'all let me know if it's a W to y'all. Oh, your My Player's history and his path to the NBA through an optional flashback story called The Heart of the Dynasty, which you get to relive four of his most iconic games in his pre-NBA career, including a high school state championship, a FIBA U19 World okay. Cup, and even an open run with some NBA players where one of the players okay. is not so happy and he got invited. And all oh, these games are scenes? available for you to play right away. You can play them at any point in your career, but if you really want to just jump right into your NBA career and start building your dynasty, you can do that too. So let's talk about creating your own dynasty in my career. Last year, we introduced the GOAT ranking system. And in that, you're able to see your my player rise up through the rankings and ultimately become- I don't even know goat. what this is. <laughs> this year, we're adding the dynasty rankings, which is more about your team's performance and less about your personal achievements. So we've ranked the nine greatest dynasties in NBA history. Yeah, let me know this is a team, WDO. Stuff like deep playoff runs, winning championships, you'll see them rise the dynasty rankings until ultimately they get to the number one spot and displace Michael Jordan's Bulls. Last year, you okay. came in with GOAT level hype. So what kind of prospect is MP in 2K25. This year, MP is not a GOAT level hype. You're going to have to earn your position in the starting lineup. And if the player in front of you is really good, it's going to be even harder. This will definitely be one of your first obstacles as you try to build your dice. So it sounds like I got to earn my place in the starting lineup. What is? Oh, by the way, he's going to say that uh, we get like 40 overall. We can get that in my career, I think. I don't know if it's going to affect the rest. Hopefully not. The flow look like in my career is it key games every game key games are back this year and we're really excited about the improvements we've made this year you have a lot of control about which key games you play we've divided the season into two halves and in each half you'll meet with your coach and gm and select a personal goal the personal goal you pick do rags leak 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 
is what determines the key games you play. We've even tiered the matchup system. So if your MT is still at a lower level, you'll match up against lower level NBA players. But if you're a 99, you're going to be matched up against the best of the best. If that's not your thing, you could decide you want to try and win the NBA Cup, or maybe you want to focus on winning road games, or maybe in your rookie season, you want to show that you're the top rookie in your class. We've even got some key games that are focused entirely about you posterizing other guys. So the personal goals and key games you get to pick from is completely dependent on the build you made, your team you picked, and your current overall. So there's a lot of content depending on the scenario and play style you've picked. And on top of that, if you successfully complete your personal goal and key games, you get an all-new Dynasty badge. So the Dynasty badges you earn help improve your team this and shape WDR. the Dynasty you're about to make. This sounds exciting. What about other new features in my career that you can talk about? There's a lot more than I'm going to be able to go into here today, but I'll give you a few more of my favorites. So earlier I mentioned you. It's not sounding too good. I hear people, they, they craving for a story. It doesn't seem like there's really a story. Maybe I'm tripping. Y'all let me know. You can play a FIBA game in the optional flashback story. Well, you can also play FIBA games in our new revised off-season flow. You'll be able to play FIBA friendlies, FIBA qualifiers, and even a FIBA tournament that you can invite other NBA stars to join you. And speaking of NBA stars, this year we're also adding jersey swaps. So there are optional highlight games on your calendar where you can earn jerseys from players like Jalen Brunson or Victor Wembanyama only if you Huge pass the in-game challenges against their teams. And you're going to want to collect those jerseys because not only can you wear them around the city, but you can also put them on display in your my court. You said my my court. Leak, 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 leak. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! How many years did it take him to finally listen to us, bro? How many years? My court, my court is returning. I can't talk too much about my court, but I'm confirming my court is back. You know, my court's been a feature w. that people have been wanting for a long time, and we're very happy to bring it to 2K25. All right, my court, exciting stuff. I w. can't wait to start building. After a long and storied Hall of Fame career, you'll receive the coveted Hall of Fame orange jacket for your my player, leak, 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 leak. which you can take to the city and flex your legendary career. Season XP can be earned from NBA career games, so you can level up and earn rewards for the city and my team. That's a W if it's not for the rep too. Maybe since they're adding my career to it, maybe it takes longer to get level 40 because there's, there's no way they'll keep it the same. Maybe. Now look, cap breakers. This is huge. This is game changes. Looking very Demi, very arcade-like. Just like these newer 2Ks that they claim is so sim, but they really are arcade. So basically, when you upgrade your build with these cap breakers, you can unlock animations, badges, and takeovers now, guys. This is huge, okay? This is very huge. When y'all listen to YouTubers to get builds and all this and that, a lot of people might be guiding y'all wrong, and there could have been an easier way to make a certain type of build with these type of cap breakers. So it's going to be a lot of confusion, your pockets, you getting arched out, my boy. So be careful what YouTubers you listen to, but yeah, are get inspired by and all that. And if you do it yourself, you're definitely going to be messed up. Make a bell for your voice now. Oh, but you're an NPC. Uh. <laughs> but everybody, you know, they got this false bravado, but who knows, man? Plus five. This is huge, huge. You can really make some crazy stuff must progress an attribute to its max potential rating before applying the cap break. There are a total of 15 cap breakers available to earn through rep reward. More on rep affiliations and cities in a few weeks. Affiliations back. Now these cap breakers probably like take and replace of like floor setters. So be like lame season pass stuff. Now look, they got badge elevators, guys. Look like a lot of season pass stuff. Hey, they could really get us, dog. You know, if they put it in the paid season pass, I think they're gonna eventually do it. One of these two Ks, but guys, do not buy your way through the season pass, bro. Just, just play, bro. Just play. I'm telling you, don't do it. Cause you keep buying it, it's gonna get worse for us in the future, man. I'm telling you, don't do it, dog. It's not worth it. Think about it. Think, think about it. If you think I'm capping, when you bought floor setters these past years or whatever did it really help you did buying the level 40 really help you in any way no were those rewards you got no don't do it don't do it don't be peer pressured i know i know you got free money you got you got a job you're not tripping but it's gonna hurt you in the future it's gonna get more annoying overall i'm trying to tell you but badge elevators can permanently boost an individual badge of your choice up to three levels within its max potential. For example, your badge is bronze, but has a max potential of legend. It can immediately be boosted up three levels from bronze. Huh. 
So you got to have the potential. So what's the point of this? These will be available to unlock throughout the year. Is it just for people who don't want to grind the bag? Earned through seasons one through four. Oh, so only two levels for seasons one through four, five through eight, up to three levels. I don't understand that. Am I tripping? Is there a point of it? I might be tripping. Okay, they got the same badge perk multipliers, multipli <laughs> multipliers from uh 2K24 and 25. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Badge perks. For example, shifty shooter covers all off the dribble shooting. Mm, you see, I told you. And set shot specialist covers all standing shooting. You see? Now here are the new badges. We're gonna go over the actual new ones. So this is needle threader, the alley oops, quicker passes, okay, strong handle. This seems like physical handles for days. Lightning launch, speed up launches when attacking from the perimeter. A speed booster. Ankle assassin, increase the ability to break down a defender or cross them up. Set shot specialist, shifty shooter. Off the dribble, high difficulty shots. We already went over this. High flying defender. So this is like chase down artist. Okay. On ball menace. Didn't we have something like this before? It sounds very familiar. And it was like trash. Paint patroller. So it's rim protector. Block and contest shots. Okay. All around pogo stick. Ooh. It'll be after a rebound, block attempt, or even jump shot. Do you double jump in twice for? Or maybe you get quicker jump shots? What? What they got going on? Bye bye. Post up poet. <laughs> Post powerhouse. We're cooked. We're cooked. We're cooked. We're cooked, guys. <laughs> Raises the chances of faking or getting by the defender as well as scoring when performing moves in the post. Strengthens a player's ability at backing down defenders and moving them from with drop steps. Man, bro. Nothing makes me more mad than a post score, bro. I hate that cheese, bro. Like, I don't like cheese that is unstoppable and requires little effort, man. Like, if I was to have a big, like, if they weren't so broken, like, post scoring would be, like, my play style. Some of my favorite players ever are, you know, like, that's their thing. Like, that was their thing in they day but on the game bro that hoe's broken bro that hoe's broken bro <laughs> physical finisher so this is like fearless finisher proves a player's ability to battle through contact burp contact layups paint prodigy proves a player's ability to quickly and efficiently score while going to work in paint so maybe this is like a center thing layup mix master acrobatic fancy finishes so height will affect what badges you get 14 different takeover abilities so now it seems like it happens manually so it seems like once you hit it it happens and you can't pop it when you want kind of lame I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, you could still lose, take over, play, playing bad. Dominant player on the court for a short period of time. So maybe like, say you playing and whatever badge keep popping up the most, like those takeovers, maybe get a bunch of takeovers off. So like in the beginning, you can't unlock the true takeovers until later on, like 30 different games. That's what they saying. That's what it's seeming like. Then they say takeover level unlocks a do carry over between saves. Huge W. Like say you going crazy on one player. It's different with uh, other players. It'll carry over through other players. Like, say you get all the shooting stuff, you know, you new build, da da da. That's a, that's a, thanks, 2K. You can change your takeover at any time between games, selecting from any that you meet the attribute requirement. So it's not like how it is. I wonder how many you get to pick. Maybe you can only pick one? I don't know. A little confusing. Now, this stamina thing is trash. I feel like there's some type of gimmick to maybe try to restrict us in the beginning of the game somewhat. I don't know, man. Five new physical attributes and agility is new right here. Stamina is now earned through Gatorade Gym Works. This is horrible, okay? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I know y'all be saying, oh, this stupid, lazy stuff, all this and that. Guys, I am a very busy man. You know, some people in life, they have lives, jobs, and women. And when they get on, they just want to play 2K. You know, you already got to upgrade your players, do all this and that. Imagine if you got five different builds and you're doing all this stuff between all these lags and error codes. It's just annoying that's all i'm saying nobody is you know nobody tripping dog you know when you have time you don't notice things like this right but someone like certain people don't notice it and there's a lot of like intricate things like it adds up bro i don't i don't think y'all understand that some of y'all each player starts off with an 85 stamina rating attribute okay 85 is decent doing a workout adds two stamina attribute points regardless of your workout and you could do four workouts each week once any of your my players reaches 99 stamina attribute rating it is permanent okay so it's not as bad as I. it's not as bad as i thought but it's still annoying okay the three stars 
four weekly workouts, you know, turbo boost, unlock a body type for your my player. Ooh. NBA 2K24, the acceleration attribute determine your dribble launching and off ball movement. In contrast, NBA 2K25, dribble launching is now determined solely by the speed with ball attribute. While defensive lateral movement, off ball launches, and off ball cuts are determined by a new attribute called agility. Oh. It's looking like they combined acceleration and speed with ball. Hopefully, this is all true and seeming like they can't really get the fix because they don't understand coding. This was a way to fix that. Hopefully, that's cool. So now, speed with balls really gonna matter. <laughs> okay, now here are the builds compared somewhat. So this is 2K24. This is 2K25. Same weight and wingspan. Okay, you get a little bit of more stand and dunk and post control than here. Get some more shooting. You know, more free throw, more midi. You get way more playmaking and you get defense. So it's, it's like you're more all around. Okay, and you get the agility, you know, but that replaces the acceleration. And that's the vertical. Okay, the vertical, get more vertical. So it's looking like you're like more all around. Then, you know, you can get 99 stamina. So it's like, mm, it's looking like builds is more OP. I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Now, lastly, Young All City. I'm the god, go. Grandmaster Young Sensei. <laughs> the joint is recording? My bad, y'all. I was just practicing the 10 ways to being a better you in 10 days affirmations by uh, Swante. Go check them out. You can get it on Amazon for 29 cents. I honestly Shit. thought that Sim Nation drama was already over with. Wake up this morning and see an hour mm. long video posted by Swante. Apparently, uh -huh. he seemed bothered Body that bad. I remained impartial on the topic. The crazy part is, I really did. Look. Young All City wasn't impartial. You're a smart guy, man. I, I don't have no problem with you uh, not taking a side or none of that stuff. But when you present one side only, that means you're not impartial, <laughs> right? Like your first video was funny. You know, you just reading them talking crazy, right? But I responded and, and you know, challenged them, you know, at, at least somewhat. Or, you know, when he accused me of the burner, you could at least, you know, show that I said it wasn't me. And he's saying that I spent a spy. You could at least show that I said it wasn't me. No one's saying all this side and stuff. I'm just saying like, it seemed like, you know, trying to protect your boy Cobra. I had to lay the body bag for them boys. They was talking crazy. Like, like I, bro, they was talking crazy. Like, Real crazy, like bro. Look at everything they was saying. Oh, city, bro. Like, bro, did you see what they were saying? Bro, that's highly disrespectful. I had to lay the body bags, man. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, just like I'm not dumb, guys. Videos aren't real. When people create videos, you can cultivate narratives and all this and that. I'm just, you know, just be cool. Even bro, even bro. We know bro don't for me. <laughs> Okay, we know Bruno. He even showed some of my, you know, he showed that what I was saying to him. That's all. That's all your boy said. Didn't even want to make that video. If 2K wasn't so dry, I wouldn't even considered it. It is what it is. I know a lot of you guys, you expect better of me. And my intention going forward is to deliver. Hey, man, y'all click the video on the screen. If you want to see me roast uh the 2K Illuminati because of how they was talking about me in uh them damn Discord leaks, you know, underlings of a uh, BA 2K25. Want to laugh? Go check it out, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.